Welcome, welcome everybody to Erin Reed Makes. And today we're gonna learn how to make these really, really cool watercolor flowers. They're so pretty, I also love these. And we were playing with a few different options. This is using a watercolor paint set by Crayola. Um, it's it's a what is it? It's a washable watercolor paint set. So we're gonna be playing with that one today. And but you could use a lot of different colors of paints. You could even use markers. Catherine, Catherine is here. Want to say hi? Hi. You use some markers and then you sprayed it and it got all pretty, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So what we have here, and I'm going to show you kind of a, a couple of different ways of making the flowers and also some options in case you do not have these color diffusing papers. Now, the color diffusing papers, the watercolor, and also the pipe cleaners are all part of the kit that is for May for Orange Art Box. And the link is down below in the information section. And it's, a, it's an awesome kit. It's all about being in the garden. And this is just one of the projects. And you get six of the flowers, enough to make six of these flowers and enough to make two full flowers that have three petals each. So do you want to start painting while I kind of explain a little bit about this? Mm -hmm. All right, so which one do you want to do? One, that one? No, no, no. One. Which, oh, the spiky one? I like the spiky one. The spiky one's easy. The spiky one's easy. So what, what do you need to make sure to do? And I've got two mats out here just to make sure. I mean, it's watercolor, but it gets kind of messy. So I'm going to give you that up here. There's plenty of water. Yeah. Here, let's go over here. You're going to be in the middle, Catherine, okay, right here. Boop. All right. And it does come with a paintbrush in here. And you can tell she had fun. She's made all of these flowers. I didn't do any of this. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Okay. So she made all of those flowers. But just take a look at the same. So she's got a spiky one here. But there's also in the kit, you might also get this one, which has got one, two, three, four, five, six petals. There's also this one that has a ton more petals. And then there's one that has four petals five petals so here's the five so there's lots of varieties and it really doesn't matter which one you use you can mix and match them i think it's really cool and you can really have fun so the cool thing about this paper is it is water diffusing which means if you look to see what, what happened there she put a dot and it pulled the water it pulled the liquid so she's just kind of adding dots she's just having fun could you full out paint it though mm -hmm. yeah did you want to, yeah, so you could just totally paint it. But see how it's kind of bleeding in and blending? So it reminds me a lot of coffee filters. Same concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so what if you don't have the money to get the kit or the kit's just not in your budget or you're, you're like, okay, I really want a, kid, a craft for my kid right now. This would be another option. So you can grab a couple of coffee filters and they're round, but could you cut these? Could you cut these to be a certain shape? Mm -hmm. You totally could. You could take these and you can turn these into flowers or just leave them whole. Same and concept. Color make a flower out of it if you could. And what if you don't have watercolors? Could you just use markers? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the markers out there, especially just like the, the Crayola markers, they're all water-based. So you can color them. And I'm actually going to grab a quick set of one of my colored markers. I'm going to show you the other option. You also could use um, spray colors. Right, so if you have any mists or spray colors, I'm just gonna grab some pinks. I'm gonna show you how to do this on here. So some... It's super cool <laughs> how to do it. It is fun, isn't it? All right, I so... did it on this flower. Oh, you sure. yes, you, you played around with some of that, didn't you? Okay, I'm trying to find some cool colors they don't have. These are all pens from Tombow, but Crayola pens would work too. Really whatever pens, let's grab a red. A oh, markers. There we go, so we're gonna use those colors. There we go. So you can just oh, color this. Yeah. <gasps> Looks very pretty. Very, very pretty. So you can just come in, and I'm just going to add some stripes. I'm it looks really cool when you add, like, the water to it. It does. So this is how easy we're going to make this. Okay, so I just added some stripes of that. Now I'm going to come in and do another color. These are all water-based markers. Alcohol won't work with this unless you use alcohol, but I think water-based is most of the kids' markers that are out there right now. So I'm just taking a swipe with each of these. And you could use these markers with this flower as well, with these flowers. They're pretty cool. But I this did it is... on the rainbow. I did it on the, this flower. You did what? On the bottom one. It's a really So look at the cool rainbow she got on that pretty awesome oh I forgot to turn off my focus I knew there was something I was forgetting to do I have an autofocus on the camera that every single time I plug it in and you know activate it I have to go in and turn it off I totally forgot to do that for this video 
I am so sorry, everybody. All right, so now I'm going to grab a paintbrush, which is, hang on, I'm going to grab a paintbrush. I forgot to grab my own paintbrush. Make sure to add lots of water to cut watercolors. Right, so Catherine's giving you an awesome tip. So when you're doing your watercolors, you want to make sure that you get these little wells, these little pots right here full of water because that's how watercolors work, hence the point watercolors. It's not like an acrylic. Isn't that cool? That is so awesome. All right, so now I'm going to do is I'm going to activate and really soak this, and it starts Ooh. blending. So you can see it's already starting to pull the color out. Good, good, good. Very cool. So you're still going to see my stripes, which is pretty awesome. I like that type. Yeah. Technique. And then I can take, I got this thing really, really wet. So I'm going to show you one other technique that's really cool, too, that I can use with this mat. There's lots of fun stuff you can do with this. So now you can see I've really, and it's gotten itself kind of all pink, and it's all over my hands. <laughs> so then you just have to kind of put this off to the side and let that dry because it's all wet. All right, now, here's another fun technique. As you can see, I already have stuff going on. Mm -hmm. And you I'm going to use. Put it down and you use that dot. Right. So I'm going to take one of the other flowers and just look at that. Look at that. See how it just picked up all of that goodness? That is so cool. I so, did that with these cups. I did that with this. Oh, that how you, which one? Did you? Well, did the top one. So did you paint it? So she's got color. So did you paint it first and then add the dots? The dots and then painted. Dots and painted. Oh, and so you had the, very cool. So but I'm, they turned different colors when you did? put okay. that different paint on. Color. So I'm going to take the yellow then, because I love your concept. Yellow, 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 and you're gonna so see look how at that. the flower's gonna look real. So you can so really cool. still see the dots through that. So you can layer it up, and I didn't add a huge amount of water. I mean, the amount of water that was on here was not that great. So that's such a really cool technique, Catherine. That's awesome. Now, how long would you say these take to dry? About a day. So you could leave them overnight, but I think probably about an hour or so, and you would be good to go. Mm -hmm. So see how it just picks up the water? It is so cool. These are just fun. So you get six of them in the orange bo art box kit, but the kids really, really love it. Coffee filters are the way to go if you want to get more, because um, then they can just sit there and play. And you get this entire watercolor set. Ooh, pretty, Catherine. So can I show them one other thing real fast? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my water, my just plain old water and watch. So can you pull some of it? Mm -hmm. And you can kind of blend. So now, and you can go back and add color. Oh, I know I'm messing around with it, see, look. But you can add color on That's top. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, so did you wanna put that on top or do you wanna wipe that off? Put it on top. I think it's kind of cool when everything blends, but if you wanted that to be a little bit more green, what could you I do? Be your <laughs> Here, you switch. Okay. Here. Problem solved. Um. So you can have so much fun. And here's the other trick. Let's say you wanted to blend colors. Let's say I wanted to make, like, I'm going to take this orange. So I'm going to get this. Make these flowers. I can come over here. You also could take these flowers and make them to like pretty, um, um, pretty, um, butterflies. Yes. We can show them how to do that here in a minute. All okay. I had to do is cut some petals off. Well, we can show them how to do that with the pipe, with the, um. Symmetrical. <laughs> very cool. With the coffee filters. That's an easy I, one to do. This is kind of a really butterfly ready because there's a color in the middle. There's symmetrical Ooh, colors. look at that. Look right there. Isn't that cool? Okay. Look at this. That is so awesome. It's like, like spreading out. Mm -hmm. Hi, Joan. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. Catherine is having an absolute blast. She is, this is probably one of her favorite things that we've done in one of the kids' crafts, right? Mm -hmm. This is pretty fun. I also like really... the last one last week on you... Thursday. Which one did we do Thursday? Which craft was it? When we sewed our own animals? Uh -huh. You like the sewing one? So I think when it comes to art, there's a lot of different techniques that you can teach kids. And it can just be an introductory thing in terms of like playing with colors like we're doing here. Oh, I have a, I mixed my colors. Oops, it's okay. It's okay because it looks prettier. 
So what I was trying to show earlier is that you can take some of the paint from your paint palette, put it in the lid here, and then you can take paint from the next one. So that, and then, so we're gonna get this guy all wet. We're really gonna add a lot of water here and then just let these out to dry and they'll dry up like you saw when we started. Takes a little bit longer because these are a little bit washable. Wait, look. Ooh, very pretty. So I can take two colors and then here in the lid, I can blend my two colors to make I a third color. Green. So like that. So you can use the lid as a paint palette and then you can just take a paper towel or you could come in and use one of your coffee filters and create a whole new flower or one of your flower flowers. So lots of options there. If we just so do a coat of clear paint, all the paints mix. Mm -hmm. Look. Ah, yeah. Well, that's the point. It's it's so these particular flowers, these flower shapes are Ooh, meant to look. Very cool. Okay, so you're going to let your flowers. Yeah, you can do a coffee filter. Why don't we move this guy up here? And then I'm going to show them how to build the flower. Here, let's put it right here. There we go. Coffee do you want to put that on top? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soak it up. I'm going to put this guy so up here. That green and blue up. Very pretty. So this is how she's getting all of her spots. It's just so much fun. Whoa, <laughs> it's pretty. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. There's like purple and then there's cool. like blue and green mixed together. So we have some that are already dried, ready to go. So we're going to show you how to build the flower. So let them dry. I would say give them an hour or two. Just, fold them. And well, we're going to show them that in a second. And look at the, Catherine made all these. You did all these, right? Mm -hmm. Aren't these pretty? I just think they're gorgeous. She did a great job. And they dry up and they're not flimsy. So I think that's awesome. So these are the true flowers. And whatever colors you choose to put together with it, they're gonna look fantastic. And they look awesome. And you can see how the colors are just bleeding into each other and the fun spots. You just gotta be careful with the coffee filters because they are a little thinner. You don't wanna oversaturate them. There is a little bit of a too much factor. All right, so we let this guy dry. There we Yay, go. Yay, I did a lot. Can yes, I do another did. coffee filter? Yeah, that's the last one. I only have three. We don't drink coffee. Well, we have a Keurig, um, but I don't have a true coffee. So I actually got this. I don't know. These are the only three that I have. <laughs> so, but to build with the coffee filter to make the flower is the same with this. So all you need is you need a pipe cleaner. Mm -hmm. And the first step we're going to do is we're going to fold and I'm just going to put a little tiny tear. tear or you could use scissors. So just a tiny, tiny tear. And this does tear pretty easily. So you don't want to be super rough with your flowers. So just fold it in half and that gives you a good center, right? Tear, fold in half and tear right there in the middle, right there, Boop. right there. Okay. Then we're going to take our pipe cleaner and somewhere down, you know, about two to three inches, you're going to want to fold, fold, fold and give yourself a little bit of a, a stop right there. Okay. Kind of like a, a a stopping point so your flower doesn't fly all the way down and then well one more step sorry you're going to take all your flowers and i already did this with these you're going to crumple them up and why do we crumple them Catherine? so they get like flower texture right so they, they have more nooks and if you just put them on plain they're going to be flat flowers which would look cool too but we wanted to give ours a little bit of texture and you do it once they've kind of dried and now they have all the, the petals are all kind of warpy and you can still crunch them and smash them up and it just looks pretty I like cool. the one I'm doing right now because it's like a mixture of the three colors I like. Yeah. But you like these colors too, Mom. Uh, those are my favorite colors that she's doing right now. Yep. The cool colors. Those are the cool I'm tones. trying to make space. I'm trying to make space, like mix the colors together. Okay. Don't put too much water on that because I don't know how much it's going to be able to take. And I have one more spot over here that we can add a wet one. Okay. That one All right. Add this so one. which flower do we want to have be on the top which one's going to be on the top top this one okay which one's like in the middle and this one's on like the top okay so this is the bottom or the top sorry i messed up which so, flower goes down at the bottom which should i put on first so this one goes on first so just thread it on right then which this one then that one okay and then the other one so i mean Ooh. it doesn't matter whoa very cool catherine this is super cool. It is. Okay, I have a spot right here. Dry it off. This is not wrinkly anymore, so. Ooh, 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 I wanna. I wanna do another. We should, oh, can you go grab some paper towels? That'd be awesome. 
All right, thank you. We, for, we forgot to get one thing. All right, so you're gonna put one flower on, then string the other, and then put the last one on. So it's really, really simple. You do. And then take the last little bit of your pipe cleaner, ball it up into a little ball, and then just kind of squish your flower up, and that's it. You have your really cool little flower. It is gorgeous, and it is so much fun. So I'm you can. Sure. So you can leave it open like this, or you can leave it kind of squished up like that. It's really cool. All right. All right. Another way to do a flower. And here's some other ones. I have a whole bunch of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists in my stash. And so these are some of the flowers that she made using the mist. So they have a little bit of a sheen to them. I do my last one. You can do your last one. And we'll make some more flowers with what she's creating right here. They really are cool. So here you can see these cool ones and you can do more than three. You could do a flower with two, two layers. You could do a flower with four layers. It's totally up to you. So first step, Whoa, I ball it up. Yeah. Ball them up, give them some texture. I'm gonna grab one more pipe cleaner. I thought I had enough, a short one. Whoa. We're gonna do a sparkly pipe cleaner now. So sorry about the focusing issue. Not fun. All right, so then we're gonna open these up. And then now this is a little different. So this is a different way to make a flower. We're gonna fold, and this is a five petal, so it's not gonna fold perfectly. And then fold, and then fold. So we're making it into a little wedge. Or um, into like little one petals. Right, kind of like individual fuller petals. Okay, and, and you could do this with the, uh oh, you could do this with the, um, coffee filters as well. So all techniques I'm showing you, with, and again, you can trim your coffee filter to make it look like a flower. Super simple. Or you could trim it to anything. Actually. Yeah. So if you had your coffee filter, this is actually how you would trim the flowers. Take the whole thing, fold it in half, fold it, fold it, fold it, and then cut yourself a petal and open it up like you're doing a snowflake, and you'll have the petals going all the way around. You also have to make snowflakes out of the coffee filters. You could make snowflakes out of coffee filters. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, so we're doing the foldy method, fold, fold. And, and we're gonna do four petals. Method. That is such a cool rainbow flower. Awesome. All right, so here's another one. Fold, and these fold. are all my favorite colors. <laughs> you like the whole rainbow. All right, so take all of your little pie wedges that you have here, okay? So here's what it is. And you could add more and more and more. So here you have, this is so sorry about the focusing. Sheesh. Then take your pipe cleaner and wrap it around and just wrap, wrap, wrap. I had the perfect idea what to do. You can add splatters? Mm -hmm. Cool. And then kind of fluff it back out. Very nice, Catherine. Like so that's another way. Yeah, that's another way to make a really cool flower like that. You can't see so. that. Oh, somebody said they, they just really, kind of like blended. yeah. Well, I think you made this so saturated with water and with color that they just kind of blended in. So somebody said one of the people watching said they absolutely love your rainbow flower. It looks really pretty. So those are the two main types of flowers. Just a nested flower. I think crumpling. Do you like the crumpling method when you crumple it all up? Do you think it looks pretty cool? Right. We didn't put an apron yeah. on you. Are you keeping pretty clean? Cool thing also is this is watercolor. It's it's washable. I mean, so it's pretty awesome. So you could use. Uh, watercolor paint, you can use whatever watercolor or water-based markers. These, these work awesome as well. Um, and then just kind of, you can use a water bottle to spray it. I don't have my water bottle. I can see real fast on my desk. It's kind of, but you could just use a paintbrush with water. Um, there's so many different ways that you can do these. And the flowers, they're fun, right? And just some pipe cleaners. If you didn't have pipe cleaners, you could just use some string and, and you could string them up. You could even, if you wanted to string them up individually, you could have them be kind of like hanging um, and leave them separated. So they'd be kind of like hanging flowers. They, those look pretty awesome as well. And then two different types of flowers that you can make. We've got the nested or we've got the, what I would call the pie shaped flower. Both are awesome, 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 awesome. All right. So we're going to say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching our diffusion uh, fusion flowers, right? What? What are you giggling about? Oh, the dog? Is he out cold? He's like hanging out on the step. Just <laughs> he is sleepy. It's awesome time to video is when the dog is asleep. Six-month-old puppy. Big puppy, though, right? Yeah. 
He's a cutie pie, though, right? Yeah. You, they can't see you nod. You have to say something. Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Please give this video a thumbs up. Hope you guys enjoy. If you're interested in getting the orange art box, you can gift it to yourself, or you can also send this as a gift to somebody else. It is a or it's a box that is delivered to your front doorstep with three different crafts, at least three different crafts inside of there. So most of them have multiples. Like in this particular orange art box, you would get six flowers and um, I think you get six flowers. I think you get three stems and a whole thing of watercolor paint. So you could make up to two, three to two to three flowers, depending on how many. And you can always take more of your coffee filters to make more flowers if the kids are really into it. Yes, I could do paint it. Painting. You could always do finger painting. Yes, <laughs> finger painting is awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad you had fun. Thank you so much. Oh, hi, Blaine. Hello, hello. All right. Thank you guys, everybody, and we'll see you again on Thursday for another fun activity. We're going to make something with shaker bits in it. Catherine's been asking to do something that's shaker related, so we're going to do shaker stuff. Does that sound fun? Shaker guys. Well, they're not shaker cards. They're I'm shaker, shaker keychains. Key so we're going to make shaker keychains on Thursday. And thank you guys so much. Please subscribe. Bye, everybody. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye.